So this morning, an article in The Guardian came out about Chapel Rowan. About 90% of it was just her complaining about how awful it is to be so rich and famous so suddenly and how, you know, terrible it is for her to have to live with so much money and fame. But then towards the end of the article, they asked her a question about the election. And she said, I have so many issues with our government in every way. There are so many things I would want to change so I don't feel pressured to endorse someone. There's problems on both sides. I encourage people to use your critical thinking skills. Use your vote. Vote small. Vote for what's going on in your city. The change she wants to see in the U.S. this election year, she says, is trans rights. They cannot have cis people making decisions for trans people, period. So why the fuck don't you endorse Kamala? What the fuck is that? Meanwhile, Trump is saying kids are having surgeries to have their genders changed in schools. He actually said that. It's in NBC News. And you're saying that trans rights are the most important thing, but you won't pick a candidate because both sides? This, this is a contradiction in one paragraph saying, oh, well, I care about trans rights, but at the same time, screw them. I'm just going to not support the candidate. She has a pulpit. Because of that privilege she loves to complain about, she has a unique position where she can actually help Kamala get elected and help trans people, but she's abdicating that position because she's a narcissist. Just read the article, The Guardian. I don't know what to say. I hope her fans figure it out. You can like her music and realize that she's a completely foolish, narcissistic contradiction with um, uh, cognitive dissonance. It's disgusting.